this parallel pump it rotates with the pump and removes all the air and slowly sucks in water and then water comes and goes over here why because density of air is 1 kg per meter cube the following video is part of the dreamer package in case you find the video helpful and want to watch more such videos like centrifugal pump characteristic curve what is cavitation npsh key points positive displacement pump etc find the link of the dreamers package in the description box below you can also check out our courses on merchantnavydecoded.com all the content on the merchant navy decoded website aims at helping you get selected in a good shipping company or college helping you get faster promotions but most importantly guide you to earn respect on ship humne pumps ke bare mein discuss kar liya let's talk about the challenges that a pump faces there are basically three challenges one is priming one is cavitation and another is you need to know about npsh so first i am going to cover the priming thing and a very very uh, crucial topic not just in terms of clearing the returns but jahaz mein jab jaate ho you have to understand that this priming concept is very very important so basically uh, fundamental concept kya priming ka see we have to assume we assume that liquids are incompressible they can't be compressed but gases are compressible right guys gases are compressible so normal case mein jab main centrifugal pump ki baat karta hu i make it like this 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 and set is taking a suction from here up a tank laga hua hai and it is discharging over here like this to a tank now normally what happens is you have got water over here a section i'll make five sections of water 1 2 3 may i'll make it 10 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 now what happens is this centrifugal pump when the centrifugal force to the section over here it pushes this section then it pushes this it pushes this it pushes this similarly this section goes over here this section comes over here so it is like say 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 when well, this is pushes one becomes this one comes over here this three with this two comes over here similarly this 10 will be over here and 11 section will be over here right guys so water is displaced like this clear now suppose this now making the sections to make you understand but ye water molecule this can be a water molecule as well right this section can be a water molecule now this section se mass is m now we know mass is volume into density we also know the density of water is 1000 kilogram per meter cube so what happens the centrifugal force provided over here is m r omega square now guys for the same size of pump r is going to be the same omega jo motor ko hum current de rahe hain due to which it is removing due to which due to which it is rotating by n is equal to 120 f by p guys we are going to discuss that in electrical section if at all i cover that ठीक है एनीवेज अ फिक्स आर पे मतलब मोटर इज देयर क्लियर गाइस सो ओमेगा इज आल्सो फिक्स दैट इज द रेवोल्यूशन ऑफ द इम्पेलर आर इज आल्सो फिक्स एम सो मास वी नो इज डिपेंडेंट ऑन वॉल्यूम एंड डेंसिटी वॉल्यूम ऑफ ईच सेक्शन इज फिक्स इट डिपेंड्स ऑन डेंसिटी राइट सो ईच सेक्शन इज मूविंग नो प्रॉब्लम्स विद दैट नाउ सिंस लिक्विड इज इनकंप्रेसिबल इट इजीली मूव्स अहेड वो कंप्रेस में धक्का देता है आगे पुशिंग इट फॉरवर्ड देन मूविंग इट नो सडनली गैस और एयर कम्स इन टू द सिस्टम नो वी नो एयर इज कंप्रेसिबल टेक अ सिरिंज फिल इट विद अ गैस एंड ट्राई टू कंप्रेस इट यू कैन सी यू कैन इजीली कंप्रेस इट राइट तो एयर इज कंप्रेसिबल गाइस सो व्हाट हैपेंस इज now this section is moved over here now this is one and over here i got a section of gas now when this 
tries, impeller tries to move this rather than moving this section ahead, it compresses itself into this section. It was this big, it became this much. Moreover, to additionally explain, the centrifugal force provided to this air section is again mr omega square. R remains the same, omega remains the same, but mass is 1000 times less. Why? Because density of air is 1 kg per meter cube. So definitely the centrifugal force is 1000 times less. Not sufficient to move this section. So what happens? The pump keeps turning dry. No more flow is there. Your section pressure shows zero. Air agi kani khatam. So, centrifugal pump running dry. Again, electric energy getting converted to heat energy, damaging the pump. Not good. So, what we said was, sir, we need to prime the pump. What is priming? Removing air or gases from the system. We always want that this casing should be filled with water. Now, when the water is on the overhead tank over here, it is easily available. No issues with that. So, the impeller will always be filled, the casing will always be filled with water. So, priming is not an issue at all. But what if what if the pump has to take water from a tank down to its level? It is not easily available. So over here you have to ensure that this casing is completely filled with water all the time. And how do you do that? There is a foot wall fitted over here. Foot wall, sorry, there is a Sorry guys. And how do we ensure that the casing is all the time filled when water is taken from over here? By fitting a non-return wall over here. A wall which always opens like this but does not let the flow to be like this. So whatever water has come in, once the pump stops, it does not allow it to go back. So the pipeline, the casing is always filled with water. Clear? For cases, but still in these kind of cases, where are there are chances of sucking in air. Why? Because when we have to lift water from over here, definitely there is going to be a vacuum created, suction pressure is going to be negative, then only it will be able to lift water like we do in a straw. Right? In such a case, when there is a vacuum over here, there are chances that air can come in through the gland packing if it is not properly tight. And air can enter into the system which can cause pump running dry. So guys, this is the point where in such kind of pumps, where we have to take from down below, we fit self, we put, we fit, we, so in such a kind of pumps, where the suction is being taken from down below and where there is a negative pressure created to suck water over here, we fit a priming unit. Priming unit is another pump fitted over here which runs along with the centrifugal pump and sucks in all the air from the system. So that water comes in to the casing over here. Okay guys, this is very important for you to remember. In cases where the pump is taking suction from overhead level, you do not need a self-priming pump. Why? Because water is all the time easily available. There are very less chances, but the rare chance that air will enter into the system. Okay guys, now this is what is important for you to remember. Now,
So in case of centrifugal pump, I have explained clearly what is priming, is the removal of air, how can air enter into the system, definitely it enters when we are taking suction from below the pump level, where on the suction side we create a negative suction pressure, so air can come in through the gland packing, into the casing, or from other places, it can enter into the system, and once it's entered into the system, then we have to do priming so that it is removed, and for that we fit a priming pump in the centrifugal pump. Okay? Normally on ship, normally on ship, when we know that water level is normally will remain over here, when the ship is fully loaded, the ship will be down below, and when it's fully when it is unloaded, light, ship will go up, so it will remain till over here, but our pumps are fitted over here. So in this case, we do not need a priming pump, because all the time water is readily available over here. Clear guys? But there is one pump, which is emergency fire pump, which is fitted in steering air room, which is fitted above the water level and take suction from down below over here. So over here we have to put a priming unit. This priming pump, it rotates with the pump and removes all there and slowly sucks in water and then water comes in goes over here. Okay? Okay guys? Now, this is about centrifugal pump. What about positive distillation pump? Shit. I am not bothered about air. Let anything come in. Let air come in. Let oil come in. Let anything come in. I am going to pump that. So even if air comes in, it pumps in. That is why they are called self-priming pumps. So in the end guys, when I talk about gear pump, screw pump, positive displacement pump, self-priming unit. They are self-priming pumps themselves. They do not need priming. Air I air will be compressed again, we will take liquid, we will compress that, we are not bothered. We do not matter. Air I have koi bhed bhav nahi karte, no discrimination. Let air come in, let water come in, let anything come in, we are going to pump that. But when it comes to centrifugal pump, we have to be very very careful that air should not enter into the system. Or else we are screwing up the pump. Okay guys, that is what we have to remember. Thank you very much. Jai Mata Di. If you found the video helpful, do not forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel. To watch more such technical videos, click on the playlist given on the screen and find the link of the Dreamers package in the description box below. Thank you.